Let's begin with last night's strike, uh, Admiral Stavridis, uh, which sent oil prices higher by 3% overnight. Uh, so uh, this was something, by the way, that you, Admiral, called for uh, about a week ago in an op-ed. So tell us why this was the way to go now. Yeah, it's a bad pair of choices, right? But uh, door number one is just allow the Houthis backed by Iran to continue to take down merchant ships, uh, shoot at our warships, at merchant ships, take mariners hostage. That's a pretty bad door considering they are shutting down the Red Sea and about 15 percent of world shipping passes through there. Door number one, bad, just to let them keep going. Uh, your other choice is create some deterrence. Um, we've tried defending those ships. Hasn't really worked. It's like trying to patrol the state of California, Red Sea, size of California, with 10 police cars. Those would be the destroyers out there. Really not going to work. You're going to have to go ashore, strike some of the Houthi maritime infrastructure, send them a signal, reduce their capability. I think the administration is in the right page even recognizing the chance that this could escalate further. What do these strikes say to or about Iran? Uh, first of all, they are a direct signal to Tehran. And by the way, it's not just the Houthis. It's all of the H's. It's Hamas, Hezbollah, and Houthis. They all have different agendas, different geographies. What they have in common, they're all creatures of Iran. So striking significant Houthi maritime infrastructure. It's proportional to these maritime attacks. It's well within the range of international law. It sends a signal to Iran that we're going to start at the low rung on this ladder of escalation. Pay attention. Let's hope Tehran is listening. What if these, uh, these attacks don't do the trick and the Houthis uh, come back and keep misbehaving in the Red Sea? Then what is the next step up? You can go up that ladder, still in Houthi land, if you will, in the country of Yemen, which they own about half of. They're in the middle of a civil war. They have land assets. Their tanks, armored personnel carriers, their fuel, their ammunition. We could go after the means by which they are fighting this civil war. If that doesn't work, which would be your next question, mm -hmm. then I think you need to look at going after some Iranian assets. Boy, let's hope we don't get there, because down that path, a wider conflict exists. I think at this point, the Houthis will probably come back another couple of times. Then they'll probably stop. That's what happened last time we went through this cycle in 2016. We struck Houthi targets ashore. They backed down. Let's yeah. hope we see that again.